Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of the Pope, man. Pope Awesome, the 18th. We are... Well, we're at peace, which is nice because our infamy is going down uh, point, point oh 0.08 per month, which is fantastic. It has to do that as much as possible. I wish it would go down even faster, but what can you do? You can't hire an advisor for it in this game. Oh, looks like my internet just crapped out, but that's not going to stop us from playing. Let me just turn off the, the streamer for now. No big deal. Uh, no, the internet's fine. Yeah, people are asking, what am I doing? They're asking, where's the stream? Oh, well, tough poop. I'm still recording. Uh, we have a crisis that's going on right now. Romania wants independence from Austria-Hungary. Well, specifically, uh, they want... Siegebergen. Siegebergen? This area. This stuff. And Diva. They have cores on this and this. So if they spawn, they get all that. And I think they might actually get everything in there. I don't think they have to sphere this stuff to get all of it. They'd probably just have another crisis to go get it, and I would support them. Anywho, uh, so far in the crisis, it's France and the Netherlands versus us. And Germany is thinking about joining our side. I would love for Germany to join my side. I would love for Germany to join my side. So come on in, Germany. The water's warm. Mm-mm, bitch. Poland, of course, got some more land from Austria-Hungary in the last episode, and I think that's just fantastic. They deserve it. They're in our sphere, so of course they get more land. And uh, let's go pick up these troops from Africa. Uh, we might want to pick up these guys over here as well. I don't like leaving just random units chilling over here in Asia, because there's no point. But, I don't know, it's not the end of the world. I certainly don't want to get military access and walk all the way home. But we could. It's it's not like it's a different landmass. We could walk all the way over here if we wanted to. Hmm. I don't know. We'll think about it. Oh, I can ally the Ottomans. Okay. Why not? Oh, speed. Yeah. There we go. So now the Ottomans have allies with Germany and Italy. Oh, oh, that's right. So that's something that people told me. After, after you discover great wars, which we discovered in 1890, right? Uh, after you discover great wars, you can have multiple alliances with great powers. And isn't that just the craziest thing? So maybe we should go get an alliance with the USA or something. Or Japan. Hmm. Oh, you can't do it when there's a great when there's an, a crisis that's active. Okay. You have to wait until the crisis is over. We could improve relations or something or whatever. Uh, maybe USA? I don't know. USA and Japan are really the only two viable options. Let's see. USA has 76 regiments. Japan has more. So I think Japan would be a better option. Especially if we start fighting wars in China, Japan would be a better option for, for an alliance. But, I don't know. We'll see. I think it really depends on whether any of these guys westernize or not. Because if they do, we're not going to be able to go annex them. Anywho, crisis continues. Go crisis. Greece is bankrupt. Whoa! Repay debts on Greece. Ho oh. ho. I have a CB, but I can't declare war because he's in Britain's sphere. And I can't declare war on Britain because we have a truce. Yeah. Good mechanic. Ooh, boxer atrocities. Hey, does that mean you're not westernizing anymore? Nope, he's still trying to westernize. Interesting. Uh, but we could go declare war on him. I'm not going to do it because we don't have enough room in our infamy cap to actually demand any land. The only thing I would want is land, so no point. How goes our influencing of people? That's eh, okay. Uh, we kicked Germany down to neutral in Poland. And that's really the only thing we're worried about right now is keeping Germany out of Poland. The rest of it, it's all secondary. I would like to get into the Ottomans' pants, uh, but it doesn't seem very likely, does it? No, it doesn't. Where are the Ottomans? Where are the Ottomans? Ottomans? Ottomans. Uh, neighbors. Show me neighbors. There's the Ottomans. Oh, we're already influencing them. Great. But we're cordial here. We were friendly. We were friendly with like 70 points of influence. But yeah, look, the Netherlands are going to sphere the Ottomans. Are you kidding me? The Netherlands don't even have a sphere. 
For fuck's sake. What a bad situation, right? Ah, we're coring some of France's lands now. Fregis is a core. Great. Come on, Germany. Join the join on my side. Yeah, he, he really wants to. So hopefully he'll join. I mean, it doesn't, he doesn't really need to, but hopefully he would join. Hmm. Wait, where's Poland? Poland? Huh? Oh, I don't know. They, they dropped off my list. There they are. I clicked on this button and Poland wasn't showing up. Oh, they're there. Mechanized mining. Nice. And yeah, we'll just have to ban Germany once their influence gets too high. Uh, but I want to keep influencing the Ottomans. I want to make sure we keep pressuring people over there. Nobody's joined yet. Jingos. Yeah, Jingo, Jingo, Jingo. Screw pro-military. Give me Jingo. As long as the people are in favor of Jingo, you get more Jingoism, which is great. Uh, extra tea? Farmers? Or capitalists pay money? Merchants need the tea. Our merchants need the tea. Does that mean the capitalists get 300, or does that mean they pay us 300? I'll, I don't know how that works. It, does, it doesn't really explain it very well. I assume it gives it to the capitalists, so the capitalists there have more money now. But I'm not sure that's how it works. Hmm, oh well. Russia wants access, sure, whatever. I don't care. It's not going to help you in any way. It does improve relations, though, which is fine. Jingo, yes, more Jingo. Oh yeah, Germany's on our side, great. Uh, peace offer from France. Let's talk. Romania acquires all states with cores. Yep. Done. Yay, Romania. You got, like, no land at all. Congratulations, Romania. And now we have to influence them as well. Have an alliance. There you go. That could be a problem. We're trying to influence three state, three nations at the same time. But we'll do our best. And we're also spending a little bit, not much, we're spending a little bit to keep Germany out of Switzerland. So that's something. Now, how does how does Romania get the rest of their land from Moldavia and Wallach, Wallach, Wallachia, Wallachia? How do they get the rest of their land? Because they are puppets of the Ottomans. So how do they get their land from a puppet? That's just, I don't know. Are they going to have to declare war on the Ottomans? Atheism. Atheism is fine with me. We are communist. So that works out. Do an upgrade of all the factories. There you go. Only a couple needed it. And yeah. Infamy continues to drop. Great. Conservatives won. I don't care. Go back to communists. Thank you. Pro-military for the win. Oh, we can do a thing. We can do a thing! Alright, what do people want? People want no, 0 0.41, 0 0.43, 0 0.93, uh, 0 0.34, 0 0.7. Okay, most people want 0.93, the people want this. There you go. More expensive factories, but whatever. People want it, they get it. So how do they get that? How does Romania grow? The Pope needs to know these things. It's important. And how's the war going, Scandinavia? Um, it's not going very well. Darn. Come on, Scandinavia, we're counting on you. Okay, so Germany's about to hit 50. Uh, we don't want them to get cordial, so we're going to get like 48, 49. We're going to ban them. Bye, Germany. Uh, and then we'll send them a... We don't even need to send them a gift basket. I was going to send them a gift basket, but it's not necessary. Because they still love us. You love me, Germany. Great. That's a whole year where he can't influence Poland anymore. Let's see, you're up 15, you're up to 13. Yeah, my sphere is pretty strong. Switzerland will probably become a great power at some point. His his prestige is pretty good. Yeah, if the Netherlands ever falls, it's going to be Switzerland jumping in there. Wow, who's number 8? 
Number eight. Yeah. Oh, China. China has westernized. Yep. China has westernized. Holy shit. Wow. Western China. Well, our infamy is still holding us back. We can't do anything about it. Oh, oh, oh! Scandinavia is winning the war! <gasps> Go, Scandinavia! Yes! Beat back those damn Russians, those sons of bitches. Yeah, Romania should be fine. Germany's going to get up to Cordial, but then we should be able to ban them. But that's the thing. We're going to have to go back and forth with Germany, banning them from Romania and Poland just constantly. It's going to be a real pain. Oh, we can create a state in Sahara. Really? Sahara. Libyan, Chad, Niger, Sahara. So the population in this colony is so low that we can make it a state. We're not even trying to add bureaucrats here. There's just no one living here. So out of 2.4K, yeah, only 2.4K people, we actually have 9% South Italians. Wow. Sure, welcome, welcome. Go for it. You got it, baby. We now have some Tareg citizens. Okay, great. And since you're a state now, I'm gonna build some, fa some uh, forts and railroads. Good for you, Sahara, welcome. Interesting. I didn't expect that, that's for sure. Uh, okay, yeah, the Netherlands did sphere the Ottomans. God damn it. But they may not stay a great power. If they go to war, they're probably going to get the shit kicked out of them, and then they'll stop being a great power. We'll see. Oh, it looks like he's going to try to ban me. Don't ban me. Don't do it. Come on, come on. Yes. Friendly, great. Okay, we got semi automation Do we want assembly line? Oh yeah. Airplanes and automobiles output production. Oh yeah, artillery output. Oh, that's amazing. Hell yeah. Wow, that's a huge bonus for our factories. Do another factory. Upgrade, shift click for upgrading everything. Great. I mean, lots of upgrades are going at the same time. Holy shit, the Rhone has 81,000 craftsmen waiting to work. Wow. Wow. We need to upgrade these factories as fast as possible. You know what? Build another fucking factory there. Build. Actually, I would like to build a tank factory, but let's get some fuel. Fuel is great. My goodness. Mein Gott. Mein Gott. So China is likely to become a great power. They, If they push the Netherlands out, that would be fantastic. Come on, China. Climb the list. Where are they on the list? They're number nine? No, they're number eight. They're going to push Russia out. Okay, so Russia's going to stop being a great power. Then who's going to push the Netherlands out? We've been banned from the Ottoman. That's okay. We're friendly now. We're friendly, so I don't care. Friendly. Nice. Everybody's nice and friendly here. <laughs> and now that we've been kicked out of there, we can focus more points on uh, Romania. Great. Fucking Germany. Yeah, again, Germany borders Romania, and we do not. So Germany gets more points over there. Maybe we should just let them have Romania. Hmm, maybe. Because he does have four people in his sphere. We have five. Maybe if we let him have Romania, he'll stop bothering us in Poland. I don't know. Hmm. That's tempting. Yeah, he's already up to friendly. Uh, I'm going to stop influence there. Yeah, fuck it. 
Romania, you can be German. I, I just don't care. Yep. I will get military access though, because that's nice. They probably won't get rid of that. Even if he get, even if he becomes German sphere bitch, he'll probably still give us military access. And you know me, I like military access. Let me try to start the stream again. See if that'll work. May not. No, seems to work. Okay, good. I don't know what the problem was, but it wasn't streaming earlier. Or it said it didn't have a connection earlier for some reason. Let me check for forts that need upgrading. Found some oil in Dubai. Nice. We found some oil. And we'll get a little more as time goes on, but not much. We really never got that many provinces that have oil, unfortunately. Uh, you know what we did get, though? We did get Borneo, Southern Borneo. We got that for our, our buddy Spain. So the nice thing about that is Borneo, well, it has sulfur, but I think this one also becomes oil, or maybe I'm crazy. But whatever, it looks nice. Maybe Spain will conquer Brunei. Why not? Uh, celebration of Freedom. All pops in South Tyrol lose militancy or gain consciousness. Rejoice, whatever. Don't need to go nuts. Don't need to go balls deep. All right, how are we doing here? Yeah, Germany's going to go take Romania. That's fine. That's fine. Poland looks good. Germany's banned until April. Perfect. So we're going to be up at 100 by the time... Ooh, Serbia went bankrupt. Now, I would love to go invade Serbia, but uh, they're in Germany's sphere, and I really don't want to fight Germany. In fact, I don't think I ever want to fight Germany. We're best buds. So how goes the wars? Oh, yeah, they're winning now. They're winning. They're pushing Russia back. I think part of the problem is they've been fighting Russian rebels, too. Because Russia's just covered in rebels. Romania has declared war on Russia. Oh, my God. Yes. Where are your cores, Romania? Oh, yeah, he has cores over here. Great. Okay, yeah, go right ahead. You're gonna call me in, aren't you? No, oh, we can we can make Italian West Morocco a state. Okay, sure. And um, have some forts and railroads now that you're a state. How many people live here? Like nobody. Two K and three K. Wow. So five K people live here, <laughs> and you're a state. Good for you. Now he's gonna call me into his war, which is kind of good because I think we can become the leader and bring Germany in, and then everyone can fight Russia. But we have a truce. We have a truce for two years, so I can't do it. He's gonna have to fight Russia on his own. Ooh, the Ottoman Empire wants to acquire Georgia. Let's find Georgia. There we go. Yeah, the Ottomans want this state from Russia. Go for it, Ottomans. Yeah, be aggressive. Nice. Now we have nine influence points, so we should probably start working. Oh, we can we can invest in Portugal again. Hmm. Not sure if I want to. Uh, do it, but do it at like one pip, because we'll probably get discredited right away. Yeah, Britain's gonna go discredit us. That's fine. I don't care. Go Romania. Oh my god, Romania is fighting Russia, Britain, and France. Well, you're dead. Repay debts on Montenegro? That's Germany's sphere. I can't do that. That's Germany's sphere. I can't do it. Fucking hell. Yep, Russia's now not a great power. China is in. China is in! Great, look at that! In fact, he's almost going to pass the Netherlands. Wow. That's very interesting. All right. Want an alliance? Ooh, they do. They do want an alliance. Well, sure, why not? Maybe he'll help us beat up Korea or something. I don't know. He probably won't help us beat up Korea. But maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, babe. Maybe, baby. Romania is going to get crushed by Britain and France and Russia. I mean, Russia has like nothing. But uh, France has been at peace for a while, so I'm sure he could come over here and just crush these guys. Uh, militancy, sure. 
I all oh yeah, someone was asking in one of my videos, why do I one of the comments in my videos, why do I prefer militancy over consciousness? The reason is consciousness uh, lowers the rate of infamy drop. If you have a lot of consciousness, your infamy drops lower. So, yeah. Militancy doesn't affect your infamy drop. Militancy affects your rebels. China declare Wang Guangxi, don't call me in. He's gonna call me in. Don't call me in, don't call me. I don't want a war, I want peace. Don't call me in. I need infamy drop. Don't call me in, don't call me in, don't call me. Wow, look at Romania go. Hey, Toulon is a core. Where the hell is Toulon? Is that Toulouse? No, Toulouse is over there. Where's Toulon? Yeah. There it is. Toulon. I don't think I've ever heard of that before, but that's where our our naval base is. All right. Toulon. Great. Okay. Influence. Yeah, Britain hasn't discredited us yet, but they will. Poland looks secure. Yep. At least until the ban is lifted a couple months. Oh, shall we host the first Olympic Games? Yes, we should. Improve relations with Montenegro? Oh, well, 12 prestige. I'll take it. Of course we'll host the Olympic Games. What kind of a silly question is that? Hey, Romania is actually beating Russia's army. Look at this. Amazing. It's amazing. Study circle. Gain prestige. Conservatives get... Get uh, militancy or lose prestige, all pops lose consciousness. This is probably one of the few times when I'm actually going to lose prestige uh, by my own decision. And it's because, well, we're number one in the world, so that prestige won't really affect us. Uh, but losing all consciousness by one will really help our infamy drop. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I mean, we still have some consciousness. Okay, discredited in Portugal. That was to be expected. So we'll turn that off for now. Uh, who can we invest in? Well, the Netherlands doesn't have a sphere. Just the Ottomans. So... Hmm. Go back to Australia. That sounded fun. Australia and Greece? Now Greece is gonna be very heavily competitive. Yeah, Netherlands and France, nah. Or New Zealand. Yeah, let's do Greece and I mean let's do Australia and New Zealand. Why not? Still can't invest in Poland. His government doesn't allow it. God damn it, Poland. You and your weird governments. So China is invading Guangxi. Oh, Guangxi collapsed. Guangxi collapsed to reactionaries, so his westernization progress uh, is over. That's why China declared war. Damn. What are they taking, anyway? Restoration of order. He's going to go annex them? Whoa, you have cores everywhere? Uh, yes, he does. He has cores everywhere. So he's doing restoration of order to completely annex Guangxi. Wow. Go China. Glad you're my ally. Jesus. I mean, your tech is pretty bad, right? Tech tech 3. Compared to mine, which is top of the world, tech 20. Yeah, but... Hmm. Hmm. Drying techniques. Okay. Tea, coffee, and opium output. Nice. Spain declared war on France. Really? Oh my god. Spain has declared war on France. Call me in. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Okay, turn off Rebel Hunt. Let's go! Let's do it! Wait, do I have a truce? 
Ah, oh, shit, I have a truce. Spain, you could have waited one year and called me in. I can't, I can't join your war. I have a truce. I can't do it, I'm sorry. Me so sorry. Well, maybe Spain can win? Wow. Oh my god. Spain has 45 regiments. France has 72. But France is probably over here? Where is France? No, he's not in the war with the Ottomans. Where, which war are you in? He's at war with Romania and Spain. Oh, no, that's not going to go well for you, Spain. Oh, you should have waited and called me in. I can't help you. Doesn't the AI take into account if you have a truce before they declare a war? Oh my god, this is this is horrible. But maybe France will make some stupid claim on them. France has no infamy, so he might make some claims down here. Maybe. Oh look, anarcho-liberals. Great. And that should cause another spawn just across the whole country. Uh, let me check our movements. Anarcho-liberals, anarcho-liberals. Oh, there's not that many of them. And there's there's actually, like, no rebels at all. I mean, that, that actually want to form. Oh, France has troops over here. France has... Oh, France is invading Romania. Oh, shit. Well, nice knowing you, Romania. France is probably just going to annex them. Oh, goodness. Such a crazy world. And the Pope just has to sit by and watch while he waits for infamy to drop. Yep, Russia wants to acquire Romanian Moldavia. So Romania is going to shrink. He has military strength of 2 versus military strength 262. Yeah. How's that working out for you, Romania? Hey, assembly line is done. Great. Wow, we are way ahead of the curve in tech. Like, way ahead. Even with even with shitty literacy rate. We only have 67% literacy. We're still way ahead of the curve. Let's go for some more naval stuff. Let's get me some steel steamers. Cruisers and battleships. Nice. Hmm. So since France has a lot of troops in Russia, maybe Spain can win this. France has decided to take some infamy. Yeah, 10 infamy. He wants Tlemcen over here. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Europe's going crazy. You want access? You got it. He's just trying to hide from China. give the Ottomans some war subsidies. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's give some war subsidies over here. I want you guys to win. And Spain, let's give you some war subsidies. Uh Romania, give you some war subsidies. I mean we have cash. Might as well. I don't think I've ever used war subsidies ever in this game. And yet that seems like a really helpful thing to do. Well, let's see if it helps. It may not. Okay, Germany's back. He's not banned from Poland anymore. So I'm going to turn off... Uh, New Zealand and Australia. See if we can keep Germany's influence down there. He's probably going to pull Romania from our sphere any day now. I'm at 59. Yeah, go Spain. Did you mobilize? Yep. So did France. Go get him, Spain. 
Now, he can call us in in a few months, but most likely he won't. The AI doesn't seem to want to call people in, you know, months after the war has started. Now, what would be great is if Poland declared his own war to uh, form Polish or form Poland-Lithuania by annexing all of the land that he needs from Russia for that. I don't know how that's supposed to work, though. Let's see, 0 0.7, 0 0.26, 0 0.07, 0.39, 0.3. Okay, so 0.7, people want a minimum wage, you got it. You got it. You got it. How goes the whole great power thing? Oh, God, China's getting really weak because of that war. He'll be fine, though. As soon as he starts building factories, he'll be fine. That, that's, that's what's holding him back right now. Uh, he's really slaughtering Guangxi in that war. Yeah, to be expected. Kill the rebels. The rebels are dead. Great. Infamy continues to drop. Romania is getting his ass handed to him. Yeah. There you go. Romania peaced out. All right. So Romania lost these two counties. Not a big deal. I mean, it's 150,000 people, but it's just some fruit and cows. Not the end of the world. It's a gutsy move by him, but that was the wrong time to declare that war. If he had waited until February, he could have called me in. And then I could have brought Germany in. But since he didn't wait, what are we going to do? But yeah, hopefully Poland will declare war on Russia. He has all these crisscrossed areas which he could push for uh, because those are Poland-Lithuanian cores. I don't know how that's supposed to work. I'm really uncertain how all that is supposed to work, the Poland-Lithuania cores. Uh, because I would love him to form Poland Lithuania, it would make this area look interesting. But I don't think he, I don't, I don't know how it's gonna work. No, we'll find out. Oh yeah, so now France can bring all of his troops home because that was the only other war he was in, the, the Romania one. So he can bring all his troops home, and I think he's gonna fuck Spain up pretty harsh. Yep, France is now adding even more demands. Oh God, he wants Tlemcen and. Leon Castilla, which is this one. Yeah. So hopefully we can join the war as soon as our truce is up. He he may not call us in, though. Call me in. <laughs> my truce is almost up. Oh, my God. I hate to see my, my buddy losing like this, but what can I do? What can I do? Yeah, since we took that entire countrywide consciousness drop, our infamy is now decreasing at a faster rate. Isn't that nice? Oh, Dubrovnik electrified. Great. Hmm. Yeah, the, the sieging of Russia takes a long time. There's just so many provinces, it's huge. So it's hard to get a ton of war score when you invade Russia. I mean, it, you can do it, but it takes a lot of time. Most, most nations, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to get like 50 or 60 war score. Ban from the Ottomans. God damn it. Every time we start getting any influence, we get banned. I mean, it's, it's silly. They're not banning anyone else. Just us. Just us. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to ban Germany again, but not yet. Not yet. Give me some military access. China, thank you. He is at the point where he can where you can enforce his demands. He's pretty much there. Kind of weird. To annex a whole country, he only needs 62%. Look at that. I guess that's the benefit of having cores on all of it. Yeah. He's just trying to get cores back. All right, December, January 1896. Next month, I think our truce is up. Let me check. Yep, the 1st of February, our truce is up. So hopefully Spain can call us in. Uh, that would really, really, really turn this war. Especially if we become war leader, we can call Germany in. Wouldn't you like that, Germany? Oh, yeah, he would love it. He's sitting there like, man, I would love to invade France. I would too, Germany. I would too. You and me both, bro. I wonder if Russia's going to bounce back to being a great power again. Yeah, he might. Right now, it's going to be Switzerland, but we'll see. Oh, that war ended. 
Ah, oh, the Ottomans pieced out without taking anything from Russia. Fuck. So despite, look at this. Despite Russia being pretty much 50% covered in rebels, everyone pieced out of the wars with him anyway. That's amazing. People are just so pussies. Ottomans broke their alliance with us? What the fuck? Why would you do that? Oh, because... I don't know. Because he's in Netherlands sphere, I guess. I guess that's the reason. Alright, our truce is up. Call me in. Uh, how do I... Is there a way I can ask my, my ally to call me into his war? I need him to call me in to his war. Please. Oh, Jesus. Call me in. Call me in, Spain. Put me in, coach. Oh, God. He's going to lose all that land if he doesn't call me in. Spain, you numpty. <gasps> crisis in West Macedonia. I don't care about that. Fucking. I don't need this crisis right now, damn it. You want me to help you against the Ottomans? This would be an opportunity to get the Ottomans in our sphere. Which would be interesting. So, hmm. Sure. Okay. Supply range, decision making. Decision making is a little more important. We have pretty good supply range. But you know what? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. My ally looks like he's going to get a little smaller because he declared a war while I had a truce with France. Very dumb move by him. Also a very dumb move by Romania. But what can you do? I have no influence over their national decisions. They do whatever the fuck they want. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Number one military in the world, baby. Yeah! Just barely.